Kentucky also developing graphic testimony today in Sarah Boone's suitcase murder trial. Prosecutors walk the jury through the autopsy of Boone's boyfriend, who she is accused of killing by leaving him zipped up inside a suitcase and what she describes as a game of hide and seek. Well, she's Michelle Meredith is live outside the Orange County Courthouse. So, Michelle, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that physically George Torres was a very small man that he was about five foot three inches tall, weighed 103 pounds, which basically explains how he's able to fit into that suitcase in the first place. The manner of death was I classified as homicide. With Sarah Boone looking on, the medical examiner laid out to the jury exactly how George Torres died. There were some on the forearms as well. She showed the jury a diagram of his wounds, as well as pictures testifying that his head, hand, forearms, and back were bruised, consistent with being hit with a baseball bat and having the suitcase he was stuffed in pushed down a flight of stairs. Both the state accuses Sarah Boone of doing. Asphyxia simply means lack of oxygen or inadequate oxygen for an individual. But the medical examiner said what killed George Torres was lack of oxygen, not just because he was trapped in a suitcase for about 11 hours, but also the way he was positioned in the suitcase. Based on some of the, the findings, um, I favor that he was most likely in like a fetal type position. So knees flexed, arms flexed, and the head most likely flexed forward. The defense pointed out the zipper on the suitcase was broken, possibly allowing oxygen in, but the medical examiner gave that little merit. That's always the question is, you know, there was, it, would it be enough? Because right? you can still have oxygen there, but it may not be enough. Now, in tape interviews with detectives, Sarah talked about how stressed out they both were because they didn't have jobs. And she talked about how she was worried about George because literally some of his teeth were falling out and she was borrowing money from her ex-husband to pay their power bills. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, Western News.